President, we see once again how the European Union elevates appearance over substance, how it elevates motive over outcome. We have just voted through a series of resolutions condemning human rights abuses in China. What, though, is the European Union doing in the real world? We are isolating Taiwan. We have agreed in principle to sell weapons to the communist regime uh, in Beijing. We are collaborating with it to create a rival to the American system of GPS, which President Chirac refers to as technological imperialism. See how hypocrisy has been elevated into a governing principle. We bleat about human rights, and then we funnel uh, money to Hamas. We refuse to deal with the anti-Castro dissidents in Cuba. We, uh, Cuba. we disregard democracy within our own borders when referendums go the wrong way. But we convince ourselves that we're still the good guys because look at the text of our resolution on human rights. We're now going to have the extraordinary spectacle of sending Baroness Ashton as our foreign representative to Iran and Cuba and these places to tell them that their democracy is inadequate when she has never once in her entire career subjected herself to the ballot box or invited her fellow countrymen to vote for or against her. I will finish, if I may, Mr. President, by congratulating the good people of Massachusetts for taking a stand against excessive taxation and excessive government. It was the people of Massachusetts who began the revolution in order to get away from the idea that taxes could be levied without popular consent. We need such a revolution again here in Europe.